just finished my uh, first project with the MSP430 uh, launch pad from TI. Uh, it's a four dollar and thirty cent development board and I did the Hello World project which is actually preloaded on the chip. Uh, the launch pad is pretty impressive because it only costs four dollars and thirty cents and you get the launch pad board which is right here a little red guy there and you get two of these chips this MSP430 chip right there and each one of those chips is more or less as powerful as the uh, Atmel chip in the Arduino you also get a uh, couple of these headers um, okay just finished my first project with the MSP430 launch pad from Texas Instruments I've had it for about a month now and I'm just now getting around to doing my first project here's the board hold up so you can see it a little better that's the board and that's the uh, MSP430 processor there in the middle and as you can see it's in a socket and the kit actually comes with two there's another MSP430 chip here and uh, it's got the usual it's got a uh, USB port for programming and or power uh, it also comes with some headers a couple of these headers to attach here um, you got a reset button and a programmable button and uh, a red red LED and green LED and, uh, and lots of jumpers and everything it also comes with a uh, couple of these cool little launch pad stickers and let's see a uh, what is that micro crystal not quite sure what to do with that yet I'm sure I'll be finding out soon but uh, the impressive thing about this is only four dollars and thirty cents and you get not only the uh, development board but two chips and you can unlike the Arduino this Uno that I have here uh, that Atmel chip that's in there is forever stuck that's a, a surface mount device and I'm never going to take that out so, uh, I mean, I can prototype with this, but I can't actually just program the chip up and take it out and put it on a breadboard. But with this one, you can, and with the launch pad, you can. So, for my Hello World project, instead of just doing my Hello World project on this board, which is a matter of just plugging it in, I uh, decided to breadboard it and what I ended up with was probably one of the worst looking uh, circuits in history I got a little fancy with it but um, the chip came pre-programmed like I said on the uh, development board and so what we're looking at here is uh, I've got two two AA batteries wired in series to give me three volts okay it's switched as you see here and I've got a uh, got a hundred ohm resi uh, resistor coming off the output pin of each output pin going to the uh, positive lead of the LED and this is a really nasty looking circuit this resistor right here took me forever to figure out uh, that's actually going to the reset pin of the uh, MSP430 and going to VCC which is uh, up here pin 1 and I thought it went to the uh, ground for about a half hour <laughs> I, I thought I had the uh, thought I had the wrong impedance and uh, 
turned out, all I had to do was look it up and the answer was right in front of me. So I spent probably about all told an hour on this and uh, at first I was kind of proud of the way I did these batteries but now I think they're just kind of funky looking. There we go. You can see all, all that is is a uh, male header. Got male headers on each side. It's kind of spring action in. Basically, it's just uh, really, really unstable. It could pop off at any time. But the reason I did that was because the uh, battery pack I've been using for my, for my Arduino, which is over here, there it is. Uh, that's a 9 volt battery pack and that's not going to do it because I'm feeding the uh, the MSP430 uh, takes 3 volts input and I don't have a voltage regulator and the voltage regulator that's on the board only takes a uh, 5 volt input from USB and then drops it down to 3.3 uh, feed I already tested if you feed nine volts into this board you're going to get out about five and a half which is way too much for the uh, MSP430 I'm surprised I didn't smoke it so not having a voltage regular on regulator on hand I decided to go with uh, two double A's a better way to do it would probably be to uh, use one double A for powering the uh, chip and then the other double A for powering the LEDs so without further ado let's give her a test I'm going to dim the light some so we can appreciate it in its full glory and that is just incredible Hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, I actually learned a lot on this project. Because uh, this is the first circuit I ever built on a breadboard. And uh, it was pretty cool to actually get the chip off of the development board on my very first project. That's pretty cool. Can't say the same for Arduino. And... Uh, looking at this circuit here not including the breadboard uh, probably looking at about 50 cents in parts to build the circuit you know not including the batteries or the uh, or the breadboard but that is including the processor now you can use our lowest power processor which costs about 25 cents so uh, the, the TIs can't do everything but when you can use them they're dirt cheap and they don't use hardly any power at all either so uh... send TI four dollars and thirty cents and get yourself a uh... MSP 430 launch pad development kit 